Hi friends! So the nerve of me to come on camera looking the way that I do. You guys have actually missed so much. Like my birthday was June 18th and my best friend came into town. I decided not to vlog. Shit, I wanted to vlog but I forgot to vlog just because I was having ooh, having such a good time with my friends and just enjoying them. It was my 26th birthday and we went to, we partied all weekend long. Oh my God, we partied all weekend long. Um, <clears throat> and we went to this place called Vicky Anthony's Steakhouse um, here in Houston. And I had an amazing time. But somewhere along this weekend, <laughs> I got extremely, extremely sick. So when I went to work Tuesday night, I started having a cough. And then after that, I woke up, I had body aches, went to work, they checked my temp, it was fine, supposedly. Um, then later on that night, I started getting chills and body aches and they were getting worse. Um, and I felt like something in my chest. So they sent me home because I ended up having a fever. They sent me home, went to the emergency room. They did a COVID swab. So I'm waiting on the results of that. Um, so now I'm still with the body aches and the chills. And I have headaches. Huh? It's not as bad as it was yesterday. It was really, really bad yesterday. Like just my clothes like rubbing on me hurt so bad so i'm a little bit better right now i am on an air mattress my bedroom set does not come in until july the 7th and then the mattress that i have doesn't come in until it was supposed to come in tomorrow friday but um it's not going to come until i think he said the 29th now because it's out of stock why is everything taking so long like this covid shit is really getting on my fucking nerves like damn i'm so sick of this so that's what's going on um <clears throat> with me right now i'm definitely not feeling good like at all been in bed literally on and off all day I had to go to the store because I needed to get some emergency immune stuff, some immune um, vitamins, some fruit, some vegetables and stuff like that. Just in case it does come back positive, at least um, I'm prepared for the next two weeks. So I should be finding out my results sometime tomorrow, hopefully, fingers crossed. So I just pray to God I do not have that because I don't want to be in the house for two weeks. I can barely stay in the house for two hours, okay? So for me, having to stay in the house for two weeks, that's definitely going to be a challenge. Um, but <clears throat> like I said, hopefully everything is going to work out the way it's supposed to. I'm not going to stress about it. But yeah, I did pick up this cute little water bottle. Isn't this so cute? I got it from um, Starbucks. And I just think it's so cute. I'm going to fill that up with some water. So... And I do feel like a little winded like when I talk a lot I feel a little winded like it's hard for me to like catch my breath for the most part so That's a little nerve-wracking for me Because I already hold on y'all because it's like super dark Because I already suffer from anxiety um, I already suffer from anxiety, so it is like when I feel like I can't breathe, <coughs> like I start tripping. <laughs> so yeah, that's just where I'm at right now. I'm gonna try to. I'm trying to find something that I can put higher so y'all could see me. Let's see. 
Oh, and another thing, like I felt super lethargic, like <clears throat> at work, like I just, little tasks was just becoming too much. Like it was just so strange and I was so scared. Okay, so I'm gonna fill this up with some water. I had orange juice in it, but I already finished that, so I'm just gonna put some water in here. Let me wash my hair. So. Yes. Let's see if I can just tilt it that way i feel like i'm gaining weight in the face what y'all think i think i am y'all i bought some lamb chops from where is it bought some lamb chops i cannot wait to cook these i cannot freaking wait to cook them i'm gonna get some ice My battery is about to die. Of course. But. Yeah, my battery is about to die, guys. So. I'm probably going to go to sleep. Um, well, shit, my problem. I am going to go to sleep. Cause I don't, like I said, I don't feel good. So <coughs> I will hit you guys tomorrow and I'll keep you updated on how I'm feeling. I'm just, I made some tacos tonight. So I'm just gonna put the meat up in the fridge and put this in the sink and that's about it. So love you guys, good night. Hey guys. <coughs> So I know yesterday or whenever that was, I was talking to you guys about <coughs> me not feeling too good. So did a COVID swab, came back positive. Your girl has COVID. What the freak? I have COVID. So. I'm self-quarantining, sleeping on an air mattress, <laughs> watching television, and I feel okay. I feel like I'm trying to have a fever. I've been on and off with a fever, on and off with a slight headache, on and off with like a bit of like chest pain on the right side, and some mild shortness of breath. My cheeks look really rosy. I'm scared. I don't know what to expect, but I'm just going to try to stay positive about it um, and just try to keep my mind off of it. But um, <sighs> we're getting short of breath now. But um, yeah, so I'm just going to keep you guys updated. I'm going to take some Tylenol because I feel a fever coming on. I might be about to go to sleep. So, yeah. It is 10.06, I can't see it, 10.06, and yeah, this is my life for the next 13 days. Hey guys, hold on. Hey guys, so I'm trying not to do too much exertion right now because it seems like when I do too much, I really, really, really get short of breath. Um, but I'm just going to talk to you guys. Just gonna talk to you guys just for a minute. Um, kind of update you up. <coughs> got on my symptoms. So I woke up this morning and um, I felt better. Like I felt like my lungs could expand more. Like I could breathe more. And then when I sat up, I kind of got short of breath. So I was like, okay, 
let me just calm down because <coughs> I have anxiety and when I get started it's no stopping so I said let me just calm down so I laid back down and I realized I said I need to brush my teeth when I said I went like it to see how bad my breath was smelling I couldn't smell nothing so I jumped up and I ran to my to the bathroom and sprayed one of my like strongest perfumes. Could barely smell it. Like could barely smell it on my I could smell it, but I could barely smell it. So I was freaking out, freaking out, freaking, freaking out. I called my boyfriend and he didn't answer. I called my best friend and she kind of got me to calm down a little bit. I just was feeling so scared because I'm like, I can't take I love food so yeah but right now I'm gonna eat something I guess I'm just gonna eat my leftover um what you gonna call it but I need to empty out this water bottle that I have put my smoothie in last night I was having like my nose was burning really bad but I didn't think anything of it but when I woke up this morning and I realized I couldn't taste or smell. I'm like, or they weren't as strong. I'm like, that's probably, sorry guys. I'm like, that's probably why um, it was burning. But yeah, I'm just gonna wash this up. Try to warm up some food and he's supposed to come get me. Around 5, 5.30. So I'm gonna talk, stop talking because I feel really winded, but I'll get back with you. Hey friends. So it is, what's today? Cause y'all know I'll be fucking up the, it's June 28th, okay? Um, I started getting symptoms on the 24th. It's four days later. Um, <clears throat> I still, I still can't smell anything, um, but I can taste. And still a little bit short of breath. No fever or anything like that, but <clears throat> I'm getting ready to make some chicken. My mom sent over a um, <clears throat> sermon from her pastor. So I'm getting ready to make something to eat and watch that. And um, yeah, I feel a lot better than what I did feel. So we can just hopefully keep it going. <laughs> because I'm ready to like not go outside but just I want to exercise like I'm ready to put my new I'm 26 now so I'm pushing 30 okay now I'm pushing 30 so I just want to get my life together I want to be healthy I want to be you know I want people to look at me and be like dang she 26 dang she look good for 26 she look good for 32 you know so I gotta start now and I'm just really ready to just start getting my life back together and in order. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna make some chicken and I'll get back with you guys. Hey y'all, so excuse this pimp on my forehead. I just busted it and put a mask on and then put some stuff over it. But it is, what's today? I think it's a few days later. <clears throat> July 1st so I'm just sitting here just chilling um, I do feel a little bit better I'm not as winded as I was before um, and on top of that I did lost my taste and I lost my smell a few days ago but it's slowly coming back thank goodness I was literally getting so depressed because I thought I wasn't gonna be able to taste or smell again but luckily it's coming back um so right now i'm just watching some video some movie on tv the couples like you know they're arguing and then they switch bodies <coughs> it's okay i'm really hungry i have a doctor's appointment at 4 15 virtually so yeah i'm feeling about 85 percent back to myself and it would be 95 if I have my taste and my smell back 
but employee health said that they're gonna call me sometime tomorrow um and see if my symptoms are better if they are they'll schedule an appointment on monday with the nurse practitioner to get swabbed again and then hopefully i can start back working um yeah this was like really difficult for me staying in the house for two weeks like it's been a week i got six more days of quarantine um but i am feeling better day by day this was definitely scary because you never know how the virus is going to affect you fortunately you know i've been blessed to not have really really bad symptoms um so I'm just glad that I'm getting better and have good family, good support system, great friends behind me to support me, check on me, make sure I'm okay, and things like that. So yeah, I'm doing good. I just finished doing these dishes over here. Y'all know I hate doing dishes. If you don't know, now you know. But yeah, so now I'm just relaxing and I'm just ready to get better because I'm ready to start decorating this freaking apartment. I'm tired of this bear. Just bear, bear, bear. I'm tired of it. So, yeah. Hey, y'all. So, it is July 3rd. And I'm feeling much, much better. I got my taste back. Um, and now, low-key, I'm about to start working out. Um, my doctor, she wants me to go get retested on the 6th. So I found a place that I can retest on the 6th and then my job wants me to meet with a nurse practitioner June, I mean July 8th. So I'm gonna do that, but I'm just working out a little bit. I'm just doing a quick little workout because I really, I really don't want to overexert myself so I'm just <clears throat> doing some ab workout and then that'll probably be it for today. And tomorrow I'll probably do a little bit of a booty workout because y'all, I feel like my booty is like going away. So we got to get this stomach together because I needed this to go. So yeah, um, I'm watching Joey Chavez's 15 minute workout and that's about it. So, bye y'all. Oh yeah, tonight I'm making lamb chops. There, I got them in the sink. Right here. So I'm gonna do probably lamb chops and spinach or lamb chops and broccoli. I haven't really decided yet, but I just don't for sure I'm gonna have some lamb chops. So I'm just gonna finish this workout and I'll get back. Hey y'all, so I decided to not make the lamb chops today um, and make them tomorrow for July 4th. So I'm gonna put them in the fridge here. And um, I had ate some chicken wings and shit, stuff like that, so. American Deli, but now I'm gonna take a shower and I'm gonna lay down because that workout I did was so tiring. Oh my gosh, it was so freaking tiring. So, yep, I will hit y'all tomorrow. <sighs> hey, y'all. So, excuse what I got on when I'm at home. I really do not care what I have on. But I was trying to do Joey Chavez's 15 minute workout. Baby, I can't breathe. Like, cannot breathe. So, we just got the put that on pause for right now because I cannot <sighs> breathe but but yeah 
Hmm. I think I'm gonna go lay down again. Cause this is so annoying trying to find somewhere for the shit to go on. Let's see. Do this. Okay, hey y'all, so I'm getting ready to um, put my dishes up and we'll wash these dishes and then I'm going to make a green juice. I'm trying to get right y'all, like my stomach is not how I want it to be, but like I got to get rid of this, but like I can't work out too much because now I'm starting to get a little short of breath again. So I just kind of have to just play it by ear, but I'm just putting my dishes up. Okay guys, so I'm making the marinade for my lamb chops. I found a recipe on YouTube. Her name is Jody Cooking. And um, hers looks so good. And I had all the ingredients that she had at my house. So I said I'm gonna go with her <laughs> ingredients. So right now I just have the lamb chops laid out. I rinsed them off, cleaned them off and everything. And then I have my concoction of seasonings that she told me about. So I'm getting ready to follow her recipe. I'm so excited. I know this is gonna taste amazing. Um, so these are the seasonings that I use. I'm gonna pat these dry, season them, and throw them in there. And yeah, so I'll hit y'all when I get to the next step. I'm just going to season. I guess y'all can see that, but it's like, Hard for me to. Okay. Okay, And I literally wash my hands like every five seconds when I'm dealing with raw meat because I just hate the taste. I do not want to get sick from that. So anyways, so yeah, we're gonna take this seasoning. Of course, I'm not gonna use it all, but Just throw them in the bowl. I think that would be the best thing. Season it in the bowl. That way the seasonings don't go to waste. You feel me?
God. <laughs> I'm too excited about this. It's gonna be so good. Oh my God. Okay. So, this is the lamb chops seasoned. Yes. Hey guys, so good morning. I know this lighting is a little bit weird and off, but I'm getting ready to go to the urgent care center because it's Monday and I have to get my second test done for my COVID swab. I pray to God this is negative. Like, please, Lord, please. So it's 6.30, July 6th. Um, getting ready to head there now because I don't know if it's gonna be crazy or what the heck is gonna go on, but I'm gonna record so you guys can be along there with me. Um, but yeah, I'm super nervous. I just want this shit to be normal again. Like, I cannot believe this happened to me, but God places things and makes things happen for a reason, so I'm just gonna take this as a blessing. Feel like he probably wanted me to slow down and slow my roll and you know chill out for a little bit <laughs> so um yeah so that's really how i'm taking the situation i've had a lot of time to think i've had a lot of time to a lot of time to myself so um yeah i just pray 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 it's gonna be negative <laughs> so yeah let's go on ahead and head on hey friends hold on there's something on this camera okay hey friends so i just want to give you guys an update it's much later in the night it's 11 11. oh make a wish okay so right now i am craving cookies no. horrible so I'm getting ready to just juice some fruit and I'm praying to the Lord that that satisfies my craving because I never have char I never crave chocolate chip cookies except when I'm on my period, which I'm on my period now. So yeah, so I'm getting ready to just juice this up. I did go get my test done today. I didn't record it um, simply because they didn't want me to, so I didn't record. But um look at my lashes Ooh. um hopefully 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 um i get my results back tomorrow or the day after because your girl i need to know what's going on how my health is progressing what is going on this lighting is so bad and i'm so sorry let me see if i can turn this on it's still bad but yeah so um I'm gonna juice this up. I got apricots, oranges, carrots, pineapple, and kale. The kale is gonna make it an ugly ass color, but whatever. I've never had apricot before, so we'll see how this tastes. But, <laughs> all right guys. Hey y'all, so I just found out this morning that I'm COVID negative. Yes, I'm so happy, like I cannot believe this i am just so happy 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 um so the things that i've been doing of course i've been taking vitamin c vitamin c i just got my elderberry gummies that i got off of amazon they're supposed to help with uh immune support i have my daily women's vitamins and I have my black seed oil which is like an antiviral help the immune inflammatory response helps with all of that and I've been drinking a lot of water I've been trying to eat right and everything so I'm just so happy that this is done with and I can just not necessarily go back to my regular life but I can just go back to work I'm like can just start my new life because I feel I'm negative but I feel like I have some long-term effects like I still kind of need to take it easy like when I breathe in sometimes it hurts a little bit in my back area 
but I mean, I literally just got over this, so yeah, I'm just gonna take it easy right now. I am heating up some oatmeal, and then I'm gonna make some ginger tea. So, yep, yay, I'm negative. <laughs>